Hey everybody and welcome to this Trade UI Options tutorial. I'm going to be covering option sweeps filters to help you profit here in 2020 and beyond. Through this options tutorial, it'll just be pretty basic information here. But it's these videos are toned towards more beginners. Uh, I'm going to get into a little bit more advanced later on, but I want to keep it simple for all of you guys that are just starting out, that are a little confused on how options work. And all the benefit of that I've covered in another video, but essentially option sweeps are kind of a magnification of what big money is thinking in regards to the direction of a move. So filtering properly is very important. And in this case, the best thing you can probably do is over filter rather than under filter. And why that is that is because you don't want to get all these little small orders. Small orders might be relevant, but... In a lot of cases, you want to look for those big magnified orders. Uh, a good example of recently in Apple's 2020 earnings here in the recent quarter, uh, that generally the reason that those were so important is because at the last 5 to 10 minutes of the market day, over $1.1 million worth of contracts came in for a next day expiration. And the next day conveniently coincided with the earnings of Apple. So they were expecting a big move on the positive side. They went very out of the money in order to do that. And out of the money is a far more risky play. And I will cover that here in another video coming up here. So make sure to listen into that. But essentially, they risked a lot of money in order to make that potential return or lose millions of dollars. So you're thinking they're risking millions of dollars for next day expiration. These are the kind of things that you want to look for is those unusual flows that come in. And that's personally why I at least like to target more of the shorter term option expirations you never know what strategy they're doing weeks or months from now so it's good to keep that in mind and then of course you have itm atm otm one of the best filters i've had experience with is doing more of the out of the money expirations because the out of the money expirations pose a lot more risk than them doing it in the money expiration for that given sweep you know they're expecting a big move in a short amount of time that creates more volatility and that creates more monies for your premiums. Premiums rally pretty heavily on the volatility and there's a lot of different Greeks involved in that. But, you know, generally you want to start out at a low IV, a low implied volatility that works its way up to a higher volatility for the event. It's basically an extreme buy the rumor, sell the news. And as that magnifies, you want to avoid too high of an implied volatility, at least if you're just simply buying calls and puts. If you're selling calls and puts, a higher volatility and higher IV might be better because you can magnify on the people that are losing monies by buying those higher premium costs. It's like buying the hype, but the hype is already dying down, so you already missed the party, you already missed the catalyst event, so you have a much higher risk in that regard. And then, of course, you have calls and puts. I've already explained before in another video. But, you know, a general sentiment for the market is that if you focus more on the calls side than the put side, you're a little bit better off because historically the market just continues to go up. There's significant dips, like as we've seen in March 2020, as we've seen in 2018, 2008, and beforehand that these things can happen. But the overall sentiment of the markets is generally on the bullish side. So having a bit more of a bullish tone can help you benefit on your trading as well. That even though there's going to be bearish days, there's going to be significant bearish days, maybe even weeks, months to come here, depending on how things pan out, that the general sentiment that you'd want to focus on is bullish, especially if you're day trading or swing trading. Because as I've said, if you look at the history of the markets, they've been going up since pretty much the inception of those markets, there's big crashes that come here and there. And of course, if you ever get a significant enough big crash to take everything down to next to nothing again, that's great. That's just another entry for a longer term. But of course, it's all about managing your risks. So keep that in mind. That's about all I'm going to cover in this specific video. But 
personal preference is a shorter term options out of the money is pretty good because it means that they're taking on more risk and then of course the bigger order flows here i'd personally prefer at least a hundred thousand because i don't want to too much filtering of it that i might miss a lot of smaller sweeps that add up to a bigger value sweep but on a collection of them all you'd want you know a hundred thousand two hundred thousand so on and so forth uh 10k order on option sweeps could be beneficial if it's an obscure ticker that's something else that i guess i could mention in this video since it is relevant is that if you see a lot of options flow coming in for a ticker that usually doesn't have options flow for it, it kind of pops out, makes it a little unique in that aspect that you're thinking, well, I've never really seen this have options flow before. And you've had, uh, for example, DKNG, it's a sports gambling uh, ticker type of thing. That And even KR, these are ones that, don't usually have that much in regards to option sweeps. So when you see the sweeps, they could be rather significant. Like a Kodak was another one that hadn't had sweeps in a very long time. And then all of a sudden they go and they pass this stuff here in regards to being able to do options on them conveniently right before they got that big contract and bought a lot of calls you know these are kind of things you want to watch out for as well there's some other different ways you can kind of head your strategy and benefit better but this was just a quick overview of what i like to focus on which is more of the shorter term and by focusing on that aspect in particular, you can most benefit because you're only targeting the window that you're going to be trading and you're not targeting what they might be planning weeks or months from now. You're likely not going to be in weeks or months from now with options. You might if you're a little bit more of a longer term trader, but I focus on the more shorter term day trading and swing trading plays. So I hope this helps you guys, and if you have any questions, once again, feel free to ask, and have a great day.